Hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you an easy way that you could create new chords and come up with melodies and ideas, all based off of a single chord voicing. We're not even going to change the fingering. We're just gonna move this chord, movable chord. We're just gonna move it around on the neck and come up with all kinds of cool stuff. Um, check it out. Just by playing the same voicing, you know, you come up with all kinds of neat ideas. Something like... So it's a great little way to start moving around the neck, creating music. I'll give you some strum patterns to work on, as well as we'll show you all. I'll show you all the chords and give you the names up close. And it's it's so easy to do. And uh, before I forget, if you would like five more free video lessons that are not here on YouTube, five free video lessons, and also an ebook, free ebook with all the chords diagrammed out and fretboard diagrams and chord changing hints and exercises, and five free videos really help you with your playing. Just click on the link below this video and we'll send them to you for free. Next level guitar, no strings attached. Um, and you'll enjoy them and they'll really help your playing. Uh, but for now, what we're gonna do is, um, if you take like a basic E major chord and finger that uh, with your first, second, and third fingers, and I'll give you a close up of this too. And then all we're gonna do is you're just gonna take off the third finger and then drop the second finger down one string. So the second finger is gonna be on that E note on the second fret on the D string, first finger on the G sharp note, first fret on the G string. Open B, open high E, and also open A. And that's the sound we want. I'm doing this on acoustic, but you could do this on electric. Uh, sounds really pretty on acoustic with all these open strings ringing. And we're just gonna take that, and we're gonna move that shape voicings around on the neck. Um, now, you do not want to play the low E string with this particular chord voicing. Um, so I kind of put my thumb over the top to mute it out. You want all these chords to be ringing up from the A string. Um, so they're all going to be uh, chord name slash A because the A is going to be the lowest note. All going to be over that A bass note. Really pretty chords. So easy just moving around and it's funny because you know when I was kind of fooling around with these and trying to come up with shapes I was thinking like for instance this one down here I'm just moving this shape all the way up to the ninth fret you know if you think about that I'm playing an E flat note and an E note at the same time right kind of dissonant but when you add that B in there and then a lower B and the A string, you get a real in interesting combination of intervals, right? And obviously, you could do this with anything all over the neck. I don't know, it just, it just never ceases to amaze me. I've been playing guitar since I first picked it up, picked up a guitar in the sixth grade. And, and still, this many years later, I'm still blown away by, by how many new things I could learn every day or, or uh, new different chord forms or shapes or different way to play things in different positions and inversions. And I don't know, I think that's one of the beautiful things about music. It's just it's kind of infinite. And, only limited by your creativity, you know, what you can come up with, and of course, what sounds best to your ears, right? But let me take you in on a tight shot, and I'll show you all these, and then we'll go over some strum patterns. Movable chord voicing. An easy way to find it is first play an open E major chord, and then what I want you to do is take off the third finger and drop that second finger down one string. And that's going to be the basis for this chord, and we're just going to be shooting this voicing up and down the neck. So basically you should have your second finger, second fret on the E note on the D string, first finger on the first fret on that G sharp note on the G string, open B, 
open G, open A. Notice the thumb over the top, muting the low E. All these strings were gonna be, all these chord shapes were gonna be ringing out over that A string, open A. So these are all gonna be over A. So this chord technically would be like an E over A chord. Right, and we'll see which ones sound good. So, and we'll call this second fret because that's where our second finger is instead of me yelling out because some of these names might sound a little challenging or a little intimidating as we go up the neck a bit. Um, so if we move that chord up a half a step, that one sounds pretty good there, right? We're at the third fret now and the second fret and that one would be called like an F major 7 sharp 11 because we had an open B string over A, all over A, kind of like this chord. Right? Over E, and now if we do it this way, we're gonna say over A, because it's over that A string. Again, the thumb is gonna be muting that low E for all of these. Okay, so now if we go up a half a step to the fourth fret, that one sounds okay, but I kinda like the one at the fifth fret a little bit better. Right, that one sounds nice. That's kinda like an E minor chord. Again, over A. So maybe we'll use that one. Um, not too crazy about that one there, but if we go up another half step to the seventh fret, you get a nice sounding one. And that's, uh, we'll call that like an A add two, because we're adding the B, the second in the key of A. So it's kind of A add two, that's a nice one. And then uh, at the ninth fret is another nice one. Eighth fret, eh, not so much. Ninth fret, we'll call this one. We're adding an E to this B. So it'd be like a B add four over A. That's a nice one. I also like the one at the 10th fret. That's kind of like an A minor chord with an added second, because we're adding that open B string. And then I also like the one at the 12th fret. And at the 14th fret. So this one at the 14th fret, 14 and 13. That's again our E over A chord. That's like the same one all the way down here and at the first and second frets. Just one octave up, right? If you go all the way up, you take that all the way up to that 14th and 13th fret. So let's work with some of those and see if we can find some that sound good together. Okay, so now you know some good places to play that. And I gave you the chord names, but we'll just, I'll just quickly refer to it by the frets, by that second finger and where that second finger is third fret fifth seventh ninth you know 12 14 and some of the ones in between you might like the way they sound you know that's that's the big thing you know it's all what sounds best to your ears because what sounds good to someone's ears someone else's ears might not think it sounds that great you know so it's uh it's up to you so why don't i give you a strum pattern something different maybe that's spending a little bit of time on each chord so you could really let these ring out. And I'll just use this up at the ninth fret. This B add four over over the A, just as the example on the strum pattern. And what if we do something like uh, maybe um, down, down, up, up? We'll do that on the first chord. Down, down, up, up. Just get that first. Always a great idea, you know, when you're doing. Uh, strum patterns break the pattern up into multiple pieces it just makes it easier to digest so it's like down down and then up up right down down up so we'll do that on the first chord and then we'll switch chords and then so go from that ninth fret to that seventh fret to the a add two chord right and then there we'll do a little bit more complex pattern that's going to stay a little bit on the chord First thing when you go to that chord, hit a down stroke and let it ring, and then we're gonna go up, up, down. So it's down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, and then repeat the up, up, down again. So you get down, up, up, down, up, up, down. I'm just holding the strings. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. And then the last part, do a uh, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. So you get down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. up down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So on the chord, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Kind of nice, right? Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Might take you a while to get that because there's a lot of upstrokes, but 
you know, that's the great thing about strum patterns is, again, it's it's kind of limitless what you can do. And um, um, eventually you want to wean yourself off of them like we teach you how to do on our website, nextlevelguitar.com. But for now, writing them out and, and, and just getting that ear dialed into them and developing your ears is a good idea. Up, up, down. So if I do it really slow with both chords, the first chord, we'll just go up in that ninth and seventh fret. So you get this down, down, up, up, right? That's on the first chord. And then change, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. All right? One thing when you go to switch chords and you're doing your down, down, up, up, you got to get to that next chord for the downstroke, like an eighth note. Okay, so here's what they sound like together. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Right? You got it? And then let's just switch them around. Let's go from the ninth and seventh frets, maybe to the to that fourteenth uh, and twelfth fret. Okay, so you're gonna play that over there. So if you get it all together, it'll sound like this. You know, mix and match. Try it with some of those other chords that sound really good to your ear and try it with different strum patterns and really start, you know, moving it around on the neck. And when you get good at it, you could do it really fast and just kind of grabbing all the different ones that you like and, and melodies will start to pop in your head. And I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Maybe something like this. like I was doing before. You know, it's, it's, it's really endless what you can do, all the possibilities. But this is a good way to get you used to kind of sliding chords around the neck coming up with different ideas, maybe writing some songs of your own, and, you know, um, kind of putting chords together that sound pleasant to your ears. And it's a great way to do it because you don't even have to change fingering. You just use the same shape up and down the neck, right? So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, be sure to click on this link below this video and you'll receive five free videos that I'm teaching that are not on YouTube, that are really going to help you with your chord changing and has a lot of exercises and stuff that will really help you, as well as a free ebook we'll send you too with diagrammed out chords and fretboard diagrams and all kinds of great stuff. So click on that link and get that. And be sure to go to our website, full-on video instructional website, over 850 lessons for beginners, intermediates, and advanced players. And that is at www.nextlevelguitar.com. All right. Enjoy. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. You're the good people. I'm David Taub. Rock on.